So Pick and Flea has been removed from the eShop. Yes, Pick and Flea has been removed from the Nintendo Wii U eShop for the two people who still have who who still want to buy Pikmin on the eShop. Oh, there you go. It's gone. It's no longer there. And yep, Nintendo's doing this in favor so those two people can buy a Switch. Again, to be able to see this is a very anti-consumer thing to do. But again, nobody owns a Wii U. Who are who are you hurting? The five people who have not owned a Wii U, okay? You know, the five people who still own a Wii U and play it regularly. Uh, nobody. And yes, it is pretty bad that Nintendo's pretty much devaluing the Wii U. But again, I think the reason why Nintendo's releasing these Wii U games on this con on the Switch to begin with was because of how f the fact that they worked so hard on a lot of these games to the Wii U and the games didn't sell too well on the Wii U. So Nintendo wants to make back the money playing making these games on, of course, the Switch. Because it has proven to be a success. Mario Kart was a success. Let's look at the best selling Switch games. This game is the best selling Switch game. It's a Wii U port. And yep, no other Wii U port has solely sold 10 million copies. The second one is New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. And yeah, that's the second one. Wings Awakening, that's a remake. A remake. Yeah, people say it's a port, but it's a remake. But yep, Wii U games have done pretty well. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, that's what we've been updated in a while. As well, the sales for that game have not really been updated in a while. But yep, they have done pretty well. Pokemon Tournament Deluxe. Has done pretty well on the Switch. And yeah, these games have done pretty well. Zero Blade Chronicles, the favorite edition, always sold 1.42 million copies. That's a Wii game, but however. But yeah, the Tenno. And there was no sales for Captain Toad or some of those other small Wii U games. But yep, Wii U games on the Switch have done pretty well on the console. Hyrule Warriors released on the Switch as well. It has done pretty okay, and yeah, a lot of these games have done pretty okay to pretty good at the very most. And I think Pikmin 3 will probably do pretty well, because Pikmin is a franchise that people have been under, has been underappreciated for years now. Okay, imagine if Pikmin 3 had the sales of a game like Luigi's Bands and 3 or Wake's Awakening. Pikmin would become a big franchise. Nintendo would be like, oh, well, now we have a sense of to make more Pikmin games. Okay. Yep, so that is the, that is, Pikmin has been removed from the eShop. And yeah, the physical, you can still buy the physical copy, you can still play it on your Wii U. Or we still have, already have downloaded it. You still don't have any problems downloading the game because you already own the game. So for the two people who haven't bought the game on the Wii U, so, eh, it sucks to be you. Goodbye.